Dean, uh, what's, uh, what's your reaction to that? Clearly, um, confidence is, is low for your players. How do you, how do you manage to get some motivation in from these last three games? Um, well, I thought we got some motivation to about half time and in the second half. I thought it was a better performance, although a 3 0 down against West Ham, it has to become a damage limitation. I thought we did limit them. Um, but first half, if, I mean, we know we're in the championship next season, but if you're giving goals away like that, it's hard to come, to come back from that. Um, I mean, the poor goals were given away, and if you give teams in this league at this level a two goal head start, you know, it's really tough. What was your view of um, with the penalty for the fourth as well? There being obviously you didn't have too happy. Well, it looked really clear and obvious, didn't it? Well, I think were, the hand was definitely up there, but it, well, it wasn't a lot of contact. So it was really clear and obvious. Right, okay. And what about the VAR disallowed then for, for Sam? In? Uh, that's the letter of the law. I mean, it's real harsh um, for Sam, you know, because he probably deserved that goal. Um, you know, he's been quite aggressive in the opposition box um, and looked likely to score a few times this season. Uh, but the letter of the law is if he touches any part of the hand. I mean, the bizarre thing is if he passes it to somebody, they can score, but he can't. Um, but that's the letter of the law. So Ty Scott a little knock, didn't he? Um, what do you make of Jacob's performance? I suppose it was always going to be tough coming out after three months of not playing. Yeah, no, I was always starting lungy anyway, but Mateus felt his thigh in training yesterday, so he'll get scanned and we'll see how he is. Um, but yeah, he, he done okay. Um, but it's always tough when, as I say, you give goals away. Uh, the quality that we've given away today, or the lack of quality, and then you know it, it's hard. It's hard for you know. I just felt that we got passed between our lines too easily today. Um, but the third goal for me sums up you know uh, where we were, where our minds were at that time. You know, two 0 down. It's tough. Um, and you feel sorry, you can feel sorry for yourselves and a bit of deflation and you know they, got, they have a throw in front of the West Ham, in front of the West Ham fans and we allowed the throw to pick it up and throw it to somebody get it back to feet and we still don't get any pressure on and the goal comes from them. At, at this stage, obviously the confidence is so low for your team and they, I suppose, were fired up by Thursday night but they're, they're having a good season overall. How, how much is that just a part of it, more than anything else, that just belief is low now? Yeah, we, listen, we know where we are. I mean, you know, they've got Mark Noble who comes on the pitch who's probably got more Premier League appearances than our whole squad. Um, we know where we are in in the levels and we'll try and fight against uh, teams like West Ham. Um, but we have to be better without the ball. I think we're okay with the ball at times. Um, you know, we're comfortable. We've got players who are comfortable in possession. And when we're, we haven't got the ball is, is uh, when we have to be better. Um, you know. Up until the second goal, we were okay, they hadn't threatened too much. Um, but once they scored the second goal, then we, we hardly made any contact with them. And, you know, I felt we lacked a little bit of athleticism, and that's why I changed it a whole time. Tony Spring at 19, getting his Premier League debut, what do you make of this performance? Yeah, really pleased for him because he's, he's, a, he's a great kid, um, works extremely hard in training, got bundles of energy and quality, and I thought he did well this afternoon when he came on. Thanks. Cheers. Jeff Curls, obviously you were disappointed with both of the first two goals. Has he said anything to you need to say anything more than that? Seems like most experienced Premier League player here. He knows when he's made mistakes and um, you know we'll hold his hand up when we when we debrief tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks, Thanks guys. Okay.